welcome back to another great episode interview series with Rabbit Coin on YouTube channel. I am with Thomas Martunas. He is CEO and co-founder of Whitebridge AI. How are you doing, Thomas? How are the things going from your end? And just tell us about yourself, please. I'm doing good. Good morning, everyone. Uh, last two weeks, so not going to Korea blockchain week, not going to Token 2049 because it's a lot of work to do. Usually I finish like around one o'clock. Uh, want to make sure that our TG will be good. Our community and delivers will be happy alongside with traders. So we're doing everything to make it happen. Amazing. Amazing. All right. I will, I will start with first question. So I know you have a, a lot of and strong exchange uh, dealing and you are planning to announce very soon. Maybe you would love to tell us uh, more regarding the exchange uh, sexes and DEX listing. Okay. So in my view, to have a strong launch, you need to have strong exchanges. Yeah. And I think also you need to balance between the centralized exchanges and centralized exchanges. And I mean, for anyone who is looking, you need to look what's the trend, you know, so go to, to, to chat GPT and Google, like what, what's the best decentralized exchange and you're probably going to find yeah. one too. So we're going to be by being by one of the part of BNB ecosystem. So we agreed with them. It's going to be exciting um, bonuses for the people who will be like first believers and, and uh, chipping in liquidity from both and from that exchange and from ourselves. And also on the centralized exchanges part, I think that it's also like few good venues usually ensures that there are, you know, more exposure to new traders, more exposure to new people. And I think this is important uh, for the launch of the token, because uh, usually, as we know, crypto, a lot of people sell instead of buy. Some of them hold. Uh, my recommendation would be balance as everything in life uh, so that's that's about it definitely definitely you're you're 100 right so you you also graduate graduated from the bmb chain mvb temp program and received support from uh, partners like cmc labs what was the biggest contribution or takeaway from this programs you know of course like um for myself, it was like iconic to pitch on New York Stock Exchange, you know, uh, among like 150 investors. Uh, for me, it was first in my life, I call it experience, uh, doing three minute pitches because sometimes then I speak in conferences or in panels, I speak, I don't know, for 30, 20 minutes. So we have plenty of time to tell bullshit other things there, like no mistakes. Yeah. And if you do a mistake, like you really feel bad. Yeah. So it's a challenge. So it's it's uh, how to say the the funny part of it. Uh, yeah. The good part of it, of course, that you know BNB ecosystem is let's call it number one ecosystem. If 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 we look at the, at the crypto industry, at least how we see it, you know, with the with the Binance, with the with the Easy Labs bold moves, with the with the Pancake Swap, with the CMC, uh, with the you know, a lot of a lot of things uh, who who can support you. So uh, what I really enjoyed, of course, you know, besides like I'm a with CZ and, you know, possibility to talk and, you know, uh, ask questions. Uh, I think that a lot of things um, uh, helped us out, like bringing other founders who did successful launches, uh, some of them by doing their job, some of them being against doing their job, you know, understanding better, you know, current situation of sex decks and market makers, understanding better BNB ecosystem, CMC ecosystem and possibility to get engaged with their community through them. Uh, overall, like, uh, for example, for us, it was a new thing, uh, uh, BNB Greenfield, mm -hmm. which we believe we're going to integrate and will give the possibility for users to store the data in a decentralized way. So for us, it was like, new findings, better understanding each of the players, uh, and probably uh, last but not least, is that it was a lot of other co-founders 
Some of them already got listed. Some of them are preparing so that the community of the co-founders with whom you can share, with whom you can learn, uh, to whom you can share. I think that's the biggest value overall because, uh, you know, founders community is not so big than the people are thinking, you know. So I think it's important. Uh, and what I like about the centralization that people share, you know, and the people who are, who are building, who are here to stay, uh, they share lessons learned, they learn themselves. And this is a very important. Yes. So that's my takeaways. Yeah, this is also a really uh, good journey in terms of, you know, you uh, gaining experience in life and business side. So, yeah, you also reach and then another question is you also reach uh, 2.5 million ARR and over you have uh, 7000 paying clients. So w what are the main use case driving this growth and there were w w what's the core problem does white bridge solve that led to such fast adoption so and i'll start maybe from the very beginning we started this project uh, uh, maybe be believing few things yeah yes uh, that people are the most complicated product on earth and your data is like everything else around us serves people purposes like whatever goods you have glasses phone internet everything everything serves people so people is the most like precious thing <laughs> let's put it in that way i'm not talking about god but like overall yeah so it's like dna yeah which matters and then you think about ai ai looks at us at simple data points and internet is our data warehouse so if there are more people with the same name surname and your data warehouse, and we all use more than six social networks, it's a mess. I mean, we don't know who and what owns about it, about me. Like if you go to Google, it's 2000 sources. If you go to Bing, it's 1,500. If you go to Yandex, it's 3000. Like who I am for the AI. So we are moving to that part when the people will realize that their data is really matters because out of it, AI determines who you are so if you want ai to get personal the only way for you is to to start managing your data yeah so we believe in this narrative that the data management reputation management in digital and online space will become really huge market like like bigger than people can imagine with the shift of the ai so this is like with that idea we started and then second part we added that then we became good in authenticating customer, collecting data, separating what is you, what is not you, drafting like in the very nice report. We said that we want to become people search and research engine. Like I was 10 years ago, launched mobile app development company, yeah, which built it, sold it. So it was the start of smartphoneization. If you would think what apps you have on your phone, it's only the best apps because if the app fails, you usually with one click delete it. If the usability of the app fails, you delete it. And I think this is the same gonna be for different AI agents. If that AI agent hallucinates, you're gonna delete it. I mean, you never delete in Google, it's the same, you're never gonna delete chat GPT, but the apps who are better in certain field, there will be zero tolerance for the shit. So th th that's like how we started. So for B2C, it's your own reputation management. So the, uh, and with the web free, with a long conversation with a, with a change in PT, you know, with whom, you know, we, we sign incubation and work together. What we started that report, we, be, we managed to make interactive, meaning it became true agent who looks at your reputation through the telegram, then you connect, it gives you recommendation how to manage your data, how to be more secure. Uh, in the future, we believe that even it will create some content for you if you're not posting enough and you want to build reputation and also will help, help you to delete the data. So this is like B2C part. The B2B part, you ask about use cases. So the use cases, usually it's sales and business development, uh, HR and people investigation. So let's start from the sales and business development. So 
if you open your calendar and if you're a busy person in business development, you have like ton shit of back to back meetings. Usually you come five minutes before the meeting, total and prepared. Yeah. The whole idea is that we just launched the Google Workspace app. We have another plugin, it's one click, and you will get five icebreakers for the meeting. You're gonna get very extensive report. And I and we believe that eventually sales happens, then there is a bridge between people because people buy by emotion and verify by logic. So if the person already appeared, it means that the logic, like I probably want your product. So I need to build the emotional rapport to complete the sale. And I think it's so much tools of outreaching people and we're getting ton shit of calls, LinkedIn messages, which we already started ignoring, emails, like a lot of them, like tons of them. But eventually sales happens, then one of those matches is reach me. So I understand the value and I want to book a call. And then the call is what determines either it's going to end up with partnership sales or whatever, or it's going to fail. So in, my, in our view, it's like my, the most critical point in the sales process. And, you know, we have a lot of VCs who are screening founders, their reputation. We have founders who are screening VCs. And yeah. you would be amazed even with the cream de la cream funds, then you would screen partners, you'll see some, you know, legal things, crazy things they did in life. So it's sometimes it's even funnier than you talk with, with, with those guys. And for HR, for example, some of the really big clients of ours uh, using our tool for the pre-hiring. What I mean by that, if example, NS wants to hire Thomas, yeah, and like I passed test fantastically, I, I talked fantastically, I did my homework fantastically. And you just decide just to check like who I am in socials. And you see that Thomas is like posting political content, doing this and that, religion. And then you know that maybe that social part of his life is not gonna fit your organization, yeah? Yes. So this is the ultimate like end point, which like, me becoming part of your team is about also emotional. It's not only my intelligence because I'm going to be working in the team. And if you haven't checked that part of me, there is a probability that I'm going to depart in one, two, three months. Yeah, because I'm not going to fit. So a lot of like HR guys understand that neither LinkedIn gives that, neither other like tools giving that. And therefore they enjoying using Whitebridge. So we're growing because I think, you know, we managed to create something what people and companies needs. I mean, now, like, then we started, so like a week ago, then we agreed we're going to talk. So this morning, it's already 7,500 paying clients. So we added wow. another 500 in like, I don't know, four days. So we're growing and uh, I'm very happy that the people like it. Yeah, this and is really good. Because uh, apart from token integration, you are able to make money from your product, which is really good and sustainable thing. Because a lot of a lot of founders making this mistake, they are only looking for a token utility and selling thousands of allocations. And when the TG comes, especially after the TG, uh, at least three to four days later, the chart like look like a rock pool, which is. It so, Enes, I, I would say maybe, you know, what we will present for the whole community. We will give you possibility first to try an agent, you know, for some, let's say, with some smaller price, just for you to try to understand what it is. If you like it, we will give you possibility you're going to be staking our token and you're going to be enjoying agent for free. Or you pay with USDT, like, big amount. If you would think about, like, BNB or Binance, yeah? What's the BNB utility? BNB utility? The product? Yeah. yeah. What? I think the only onboarding the project for on their chain. This is the main, this is the main thing. And CZ is only pushing it. No, but <laughs> like, B, look, BNB first utility is like I'm using Binance and I'm using it to cover my trading fees. Because it's like minus 20% with BNB rather than I pay with the... Uh, with uh, uh, USDT. Also, if 
I mean, now I think they change, but if I was having like 500 uh, BNBs, then my fees was zero because I was like VP something. So what I'm saying is that I always try to look what is in common or what is the success, what is the common denominators of the successful projects. Yeah. So, and you don't need to overcomplicate that, you know, you, you will be able to do this and that, and like you're giving discount, you're giving possibility stake to use if you have a good product, because most of the projects don't have anything. Like yeah. they promise you to launch something in a year from now. You, you cannot feel the product, yeah? So then we have that and we can give you feeling. And if you're enjoying, then you can decide to buy and stake and then enjoy it for free. Yeah? And of course, we're always welcome, you know, to be a part of the community, invite friends, earn more, you know, participate, give us the feedback from the, for the product development. So we always welcome our community and we listen to it. Amazing, amazing. And Lassi, I would love to also get your, your, get your words regarding the TG. And Lassi, what would you like to say to the Turkish community? Because I know Whitebridge has a really uh, good hype in Turkish market. You're also one of the incubation partner of ChainGPT. ChainGPT has a lot of holders in Turkish market. Long story short, the Turkish market is pretty active in the Web3 space. And what's your message? And also would love to get more information regarding the TG. We're going to make strong launch. We will be seeking a strong partner, maybe like yourself, Ines, you. who will help eventually. Because we are now focusing on English speaking. But I believe Turkish market is a huge market. So we will need the partner who will adapt product for, from Turkey. So one of the our selection to take the web free part uh, or path was that we plan to grow through the ch franchise model, meaning like finding the partner like yourself who will adapt the prompts to the local language to make sure that they work perfectly, uh, who will connect maybe some special social links which we don't have a special databases for turkey which we don't integrate it yet you launch the product the white bridge network takes part of the commission everyone is happy you don't need to waste development we give you all like you you just see everything what works for us in english voila so this is also why we believe that this is another way of company growth versus web two, then you hire just yourself, you hire, you go market by market. You can do it differently. You can engage with the community, get good partners, launch faster, partners make money, you make money because it's more clients, token is growing, everyone becomes happy. Amazing. I'm really uh, happy to onboard on my channel and uh, I got all my answers from your speech. Uh, thank you very much. And I, I really appreciate that for your valuable insights and valuable thoughts. Uh, thank you, Thomas. I really appreciate it. And if you would like, if you would love to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on. And we can't wait for the Whitebridge TG. And exchanging exchange also will be announced from their official account, and we're really looking forward to seeing it. Look forward to work with you in long term, Ines, and also for with all Turkish community. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it, and uh, see you.